Thermaltake has announced some new exciting stuff over at CES this year, and while I won't be able to attend, I will be covering the event remotely. One of the products that caught my eye specifically was the Ceres 500TG. It's Thermaltake's newest mid-tower case that comes in both black and white. But the case has a lot of really cool features that I think will interest PC builders, enthusiasts, and even modders. They happened to send over a sample for me to check out, and normally I don't get excited for cases, but this one's got my attention. The most noticeable feature and one of the selling points of this case are the perforated panels everywhere. In fact, more than 60% of the case has these small circle cutouts. Very similar to a honeycomb design from a mouse, but instead of focusing on weight reduction, the holes here are made for improved cooling performance. The case comes with four CT 140mm ARGB fans. We got three in the front for intake and one in the back for exhaust, and they are all daisy chained together. You can add additional fans to the chain, or just plug the ends of both the PWM fan cable and the RGB cable straight to your motherboard. You get a hinged 3mm clear side panel, allowing easy access to the components inside, but you do have the option of removing it when you're building your PC. Now for storage, you have the option of adding up to 5 hard drives or up to 8 SSDs, using the mounting brackets found either inside the case, underneath the power supply shroud, or in the back. Just like most thermal take cases, the front I.O. is located on the side, which in my opinion looks the cleanest. And when you think about it, your case is usually perpendicular to your desk, and it's usually on the right side of you, so having the ports located on the side of the case makes the most sense in terms of convenience. Now aesthetically, I wish Thermal Take just committed to a single color. I'm not a fan of the gray accents in the front or the black PCI brackets in the back. It just clashes with the color, and I feel like anyone buying a white case has a very specific color combo in mind. While these are subtle accents and probably don't make a huge difference for most people, it just would have been better to keep the entire case white, especially since most of the case is white already. The PSU shroud, the vertical GPU mount, the fans, hell, even the cables for the fans are white, so why not fully commit? Now, even though the case is a mid-tower, it has tons of room for cooling, supporting up to a 360 millimeter radiator up top or up to a 420 mil rad in the front. They made it very easy to install a rad in the front, by the way. You just have to pop out the front panel and remove four screws to get access to the bracket. It also supports even the biggest of GPUs, up to 425 millimeters in length. I was able to fit my RTX 4090 Founders Edition with a little bit of sag, which is to be expected. But thankfully, the case does come with a GPU sag bracket. You just line up the bottom part with the dedicated threads on the PSU shroud and you install it with the thumb screws. Then you pop off the top panel and do the same thing from up here. With the vertical bracket in place, you have the option of raising your GPU as much as you want to prevent it from sagging. Although it's a pretty cool idea, personally I think there could have been a better approach where it's not that visible from the front. Luckily, it is the same color of the case, so it doesn't stick out as much, but you can still see it. The PSU shroud has two removable covers. The one in the back allows you to get a better view of your power supply. Why would you want to make your power supply visible in the first place? There's nothing exciting about the power supply. If anything, it just makes the build look less appealing. Now the second cover makes the most sense and it's actually a really cool feature with the case. You can install an LCD panel which gives you the ability to view hardware information, monitor frequencies, or add a pretty cool image or GIF. Normally, if you wanted something like this in your PC, you had to mod it yourself. You needed to buy an external display, a USB and HDMI cable, special standoffs to secure it to your case, and you needed to download IDA64 and spend hours customizing the perfect sensor panel. Well, not anymore. You just have to plug in one end of the USB cable into the panel itself and plug the other USB 2.0 tip into the USB header in your motherboard. And finally, you're gonna need to download and install the TT RGB Plus 2.0 software. That way you can upload your images or customize what info to show on the panel. In addition to mounting your GPU horizontally, the case does support vertical mounting as well. In fact, they included a vertical GPU bracket, but you will need to buy a riser cable separately. I gotta hand it to Thermaltake for designing such a convenient way of switching between horizontal and vertical GPU mounting. All you have to do is remove the four screws, rotate the bracket to its side, and screw it back in place. It is super simple. In addition to that, you have the option of deciding where you want to mount the GPU. There are actually three pre-drilled sections on the power supply shroud to choose from, 
but if you're installing a 40 series card, it's best to pick the furthest slot to make sure there's enough space where the riser cable is not being squished, like it is over here with the RTX 4090 Founders Edition. And if the GPU is still sagging in vertical mode, you can use the included bracket to fix that sag. The case is set to launch on January 4th and it will go for $170 for both the black and white color. And if you want the optional LCD panel kit, that will run you another $100. I'll drop a link to the case down below if you guys want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one.